have heard about cars, bikes, even mopeds getting stolen, but now thieves are targeting a much heavier equipment. Kimberly Speakman is joining us now in the studio with more. Kimberly? Lauren, police are looking for three men who stole a forklift. As odd as that sounds, they were able to drive away with it without anyone noticing. And this isn't the first time something like this has happened. The theft happened in broad daylight at a Board of Water Supply property in Wahiawa. And while a forklift can be hard to miss, these thieves were able to sneak it away. Incidents like these are crime of opportunities. You know, these people are always looking out for something to take. So they came across this forklift, saw that it was unsecured, and subsequently ended up leaving with it. But this isn't the first time heavy equipment like this has been stolen. A few months ago, backhoes were being stolen off work sites on the Big Island. They can use it for many different reasons. They can use it for, for personal use. If, if they do have their own business or property, uh, they can always sell it on the black market. Sergeant Kim says while they don't move as fast as a car, stolen heavy equipment can be more difficult to track down. You know, because these things aren't, they don't have license plates. You know, it's not like they're going to go rolling down on a public street and an officer's going to stop them. He says you can protect yourself by making sure vehicle keys aren't accessible, adding a GPS to the equipment, and making sure that you have photos and serial numbers on file just in case thieves do strike. Follow the police report, but at least you'll be able to provide photos as well as serial numbers to the detective. If they ever come across it or if, you know, they do see these types of things for sale on Craigslist or whatever, you know, it'd be a lot easier to track down. Once again, the search continues for the three suspects who stole the forklift. If you have any information on the suspects, you can contact Crime Stoppers. Their information is on our website, khon2.com. Back to you.